guys welcome back to my channel today we will discuss regarding the cc exam pattern syllabus fees level of certification pass mark criteria eligibility eligibility criteria and cc renewals this video include includes all the details regarding cc examination so whatever you have queried just see this full video don't skip this video then you understand the all requirement so it is easy for you before you attend any types of exam regarding CSHIP 3.0 or 3.1 or 3.2.1. So all these things requirement in this video includes. So let's start. First we should know the course. What is this course? This course is for the welding inspector. It provides an introduction to weight range of topics to do with welding inspection. So what you do? You need to check with welding inspection means wide range of topics are there. You need to check in welding and the welding inspection and other related topics related to welding process. So you should understand the course is for the welding inspector. So what is in it? What is in it in this course? The, a mixture of welding inspection you can see different types of welding inspection you can see in this course and quality related topic so what are what what is the quality level you can achieve and that is accepted so you can go through this course then you can understand easily so the, you understand the course what is this now the topics for discussion First, we will discuss what is CC certification. Second, we will discuss what document need for registering the CC exam. Means, before you attend the CC exam, what documents you need? Level of certification, how many levels are there for certification? CC course content, what course are there? What course content are there in CC? Course syllabus details. What is this course syllabus and what is uh, included in this course syllabus? You can see here. You can uh, you can understand this course syllabus also in CC book. But why I make this video? That's why I include here the course syllabus. Six is CC exam pattern. Exam pattern how it looks like. Seven is pass mark criteria. How many? How much pass mark is required? for this exam. Eight is eligibility criteria for CC. What do you do the education required for this CC? CC 3.1 course fees. How much fees is there? 10 is CC world macro practical exam. How you will do? Because it is a part of CC 3.1. CC plate defect practical exam also you have to do. It is a part of the part of this exam. 12 be CC pipe defects also. So pipe, plate and macro, this is the practical part. And 13 is CC renewals. So these all things, 1 to 13 we will discuss today one by one. So it covers all these things. It is very interesting subject. So many people are asking me for this video. So that's why I prepared. So let's start. What is CC certification? CCF certification nothing is that the CCF welding inspector course. This is the CCF welding inspector course. It's designated, it designed for inspection engineers and supervisor staff. So this course is basically for welding inspector and is designed for inspection engineer and supervisor staff. So inspection engineers also can do this course and supervisor staff also can do this course means welding supervisor and it's a personal certification course provided by TWI UK. So the Welding Institute UK this course provided and they are the giving the certification. Second is a certified CC 3.1 welding inspector is simply a welding inspector. So it is a this course is a welding inspector. You need a certain experience and criteria which is approved by CC through a specific requirement to enter the exam. So before prior to enter the exam, you need some experience and criteria. All these things we will discuss in the coming pages, which is approved by CC. So 
the first you have accepted an experience and the document then it will be sent to CSWIP by mail or by post then they will approve then you can re-enter the exam so this is CSWIP certification process now the, this certification covers the wide range of welding process and related inspection so this certification you see there is so many things related to welding inspection it's covered and related inspection so welding process and their related inspection how you have to do so it's covers all these things so this is CSWIP certification now we'll go what documents need for registering the CSWIP exam so you just you think you need to do one CSWIP you need to do CSWIP certification so what do you need before you enter the exam first thing before attempting the examination you provide the following one is to passport size photograph with your name and signature on reverse side so to passport size photograph it's required with your name and signature on reverse side it means uh, reverse side you need to sign signature and you, your name should be right there second is it certificate definitely it's required the certificate must show near vision and color test so certificates it's include the near vision and color test it certificate third is the completed enrollment form so enrollment form you can print from the website of twi also i, I given the link here you see that this link this link is there you can get it from here and fourth is your current cv resume your cv must be emailed or fax to the following for evaluation by the examination manager so this cv or resume you need to must you need to send the shishui means your partner means your training agency you need to send your training agency and then they will send to twi shishui they will evaluate your cv and they will confirm that you can appear the examination so this is the requirement before you registering before you enter the exam level of certification how many levels are there candidate can choose below any of them as per the TW or TWI category is based on the experience level so based on the experience level they are categorized 3.1 3.0 is visual welding inspector 3.1 is welding inspector 3.2.1 is senior welding inspector without radiographic interpretation so 3.2.1 is he is the senior welding inspector but he cannot do the radiographic interpretation and last is 3.2.2 is the senior welding inspector with radiographic interpretation means he can do he is senior welding inspector with radiographic interpretation also he can check so this four level is there based on the experience level you can choose also in 3.1 3.0 3.21 they have some requirement you can see in CSWIP or CSWIP book there is specifically specifically mentioned 3.0 what is required 3.1 what is required the eligibility so let's we'll discuss also in eligibility in 3.1 CSWIP course content what is inside in this course roles and duties of a welding inspector you can see that what is the roles and duties what are the roles and duties of a welding inspector it is mentioned there welding defects weldability of steel heat treatment application and contact control of preheating welding consumable ndt and dt all these things is clearly mentioned in this cc course content macro examination you can see what we, it will come in your exam welding process wps thermal cutting ports and standard welding safety weld repairs calibration and stress and distortion so every topics have their questions so that questions you have to find out from the cc book so you have to read out first roles and duties of a welding inspector definitely each topic is very important because the question will come from each topic not from one topic so this is the course you need to read very carefully in the cc book then you can when you find when you think that i am understanding everything so i can uh, appear exam Course syllabus. 
course syllabus detail you can get it from the cc books but i am including here because in this video everything is mentioned why this one will be omit so that's why i will include all these things so it is very easy for find out in candidates will be expected to have the knowledge of cc 3.0 so first things you should know in if you do the cc 3.1 so you should know cc 3.0 first so in cc 3.0 what is mentioned the code and standard what is requirement in terminology what is requirement you can see here you can see here you see here welds joints well phase to in terminology what is welds what is joint codes and standard what is requirement all these things it is material inspection point size types condition so all these things in details in cc book is there now you can see welding process consumable a basic feature of manual mechanical mechanized fab filtered and gas filtered arc process consumable you can see the identification of consumable so all these things is the syllabus the syllabus you should cover before you entering the exam visual examination and dimensional checking you can see here identification of preheat safety visual examination of repaired weld so this is for cc 3.0 so now we'll go for cc 3.1 syllabus because in candidates we will need to demonstrate knowledge of the visual holding inspector syllabus means visual holding inspector syllabus you should know first then you need to know that this inspector cc 3.1 size material type means this is the cc 3.0 is for visual holding inspector this is for normal understanding but if you go in cc 3.1 these details are there materials you size type condition heat treatment you can find out in the book it is details are everything are in details welding process welding procedures quality control of welding destructive test all these things are details in this in this book code syllabus this is the code syllabus non-destructive testing weld defects distortion reporting so you understand now the cc 3.0 and 3.1 syllabus this syllabus you should know in details before you appearing the exam because in the details you should know everything because every every topic have that different questions every subject have their different questions the different question will become in each like old defects it will come the question will come from well defects ocean will come from distortion question will come from reporting question will come from non-distance so every topics have their own questions so you have to read very carefully and details in each topic so now you understand the course syllabus now the exam pattern so you should know the exam pattern how much hours or what is the time it will be required for exam so first you have to go theory part a2 that is theory part a2 for general welding theory product technology and ndt 30 multiple choice question will be there so how many question will be there 30 multiple choice question is where question will be there that is theory part a2 and it include general welding theory product technology and NDT. so it's required 45 minutes you have to you have to complete this exam now another exam is one hour 30 minutes that is theory part b2 what is this inside specific welding technology 60 multiple choice question will be there so how many question will be there in 60 multiple choice question will be there so this is for specific welding technology now we'll go third time exam one hour 30 minutes it's required for practical part so theory part you have finished one hour 30 minutes and 45 minutes in one hour 30 minutes you'll go for practical part a2 what will be there in practical part a2 inspection of plate bar oil examination object and a pipe so there is a bar oil pipe and plate will be given to you with defect so you have to check the defect and there will be acceptance criteria and we have to find out the defect and you have to mention in the examination page 
so the specimen score to a code provided by the so eight examination specimen to a code provided by a test center so test center will be provide all this bar tool and the bar tool plate and bar tool ply sample now this is the last one the 45 minutes is required for practical part b2 inspection of a set of destructive test sample like they will give two macro or two and two bend they will give to you because these things before it was only for macro practical part b2 now they have appendix so this is changed to one two macro and two bends they will give otherwise two fracture two macro and two fracture they will give this is practical part b2 45 minutes is required for the to complete this exam so you understand this exam pattern this is very easy to understand it now pass mark what you how much percentage you need for pass this exam 70 percent mark pass mark is required means 100 in 100 exam 70 should be required so 70 percent pass mark is required to pass this exam so you can see some sample i will give you here this is your certificate of proficiency they company CC, they will provide this one the certificate by email to to you this is your card CC card so two copies of certificates and an identity card sent to delegate sponsor so now they will give direct to you it was before delegate sponsor now the company will provide the certificate of proficiency directly to you and identity card also so pass mark is required 70 percent now eligibility criteria it is very important eligibility criteria a minimum of so this is for only cc 3.1 requirement the eligibility criteria because the video is made for cc 3.1 a minimum of three years welding inspection experience required related to the duties and responsibility listed in clause 1.2.1 and clause 1.2.2 so this clause you can find out in document cc document number cc wi 692 under qualified supervision independently verified so you need minimum three years welding experience related to duties and responsibilities listed in clause 1.2.1 and 1.2.2 so how the cc or TWI, how they can check really the person have three years holding experience. So, experience certificate is required from which company you are working. So, it is very important that certificate is required to show them that I have the holding inspection experience related to this. Or, this is one option. Second option is you have the CSUI visual holding inspector certificate means you have CSUI 3.0 and you have you need two years experience with duties and responsibilities so you can also eligible for this CSUI so you have CSUI 3.0 plus two years experience with holding inspector so holding job responsibility so you can appear this exam so also the areas listed 1.2.1 and 1.2.2 document you can find out this in this document now another option they have given cc welding instructor means there is a code cc welding instructor or cc welding foreman if you have this type of certificate then you need only one year certificate in addition means cc welding foreman you have you have you should have certificate plus one year you have certificate in addition another one to all the above candidate must comply 1.3.4 you have to share document number so welding foreman plus one year experience plus you have to check with this comply clause 1.3.4 or not if you need this document number cc3 wi692 then i can provide to you so anybody is required this document then you can ask me so this is for eligibility criteria for CSUI. So this is CSUI 3.1 course fees. So how much money is required for this course? In India, if you go 1,25,000 INR, 
but if you go for usd cost approximately it will come 2000 usd so it varies from country to country but you can find out from TWA website also you can directly call to your training center then definitely they will help you Shishui called macro practical examination you know very well this macro practical examination you can check the below link you can get the a clear concept so in this video you can get a clear concept of how the Shishui world macro practical examination or how the macro center they will give and how to relate with this defect so it is you can get a clear concept in this video so you can click this link and you can get this video now plate defects also there is a video in my channel so this link is there and you can get a clear concept of cc will pack cc practical plate exam and last one is cc pipe defects practical examination also you can find out this video in youtube this link is there just you click this link copy paste this link and finally you can get a clear concept if you see practical pipe exam so shishui body nuals this is five years assessment the five years you have to go the cb assessment in order to certificate renew when you finish the five years then what you do how to renew this certificate so you have to simply you have to Providing evidence of continuous work activity in the welding inspection means you show the certificate to the CSU, CSU, TWI that I have the experience continuous with this company with the welding inspection. Providing evidence means you have to show that evidence that you have a welding technology up to date with this company and a renewal must take place not later than 21 days means you have completed the exam you have completed the renewal date today so it should be renewed within 21 days within 21 days means after the date of expiry within 21 days you have to do renewal it is a must take place Certificate holder responsibility to ensure the renewal take place at the appropriate time. So this is the certificate certificate holder responsibility, not the TWI responsibility to remind you this is for renewal time for you. So this is your responsibility. Now if you go for 10 year, what will happen? Renewal examination will be there. So you have to do a examination. So the 10 years examination for welding inspector and senior welding inspector will consist of the consist of the following multiple choice general paper will be there practical visual examination of the plate part of examination objective or eight examination specimens so this all these things you require for 10 years examination means you have to do a re-exam for this 10 years renewal and this re-exam what will be there your topic multiple choice general paper practical visual examination of a plate bar to examination object or eight examination specimen so this is your requirement for five year on 10 year and 10 year renewal hope you understand all this information regarding the cc exam syllabus pattern all these things are details includes here i think you enjoyed this video so thanks for watching please like share and subscribe my channel to get the regular video thanks a lot